Hi, I'm Courier Journal sports columnist Eric Crawford at Churchill Downs, and let's go through this little exercise in futility of trying to pick a few Breeders' Cup races. Uh, usually in horse racing, you can take a look at the form and throw out you know, a good number of horses in it. Can't really do that here. They're all really good, and it makes it extremely challenging, and really it's a couple days' worth of work, which I've put about, oh, 20 minutes into, so let's see what we can do. Uh, the Breeders' Cup Classic, the one horse I've been focused on all week as far as my reporting and writing has been Zenyatta. The big question is, is there anybody in there that can beat her? Um, a lot of people are questioning whether she can win on dirt against a lot of horses whose favored surface is dirt. It's certainly going to be a big test. I'm picking her to win. I think she's prove that she can beat uh, top level male horses she did it a year ago in this race but if you're looking for for big challenges i think you have to really you have to look at blame number one on the list and i think uh, uh Espor city is another horse that i'm looking at to maybe give her a challenge she's going to have to reel in some very good horses uh the ladies classic uh on friday is going to be an interesting race and we have a former Oaks, uh, well, the reigning Kentucky Oaks winner, Blind Luck, in this race. Uh, I think I like Blind Luck, even though uh, she has really had a kind of a tough campaign. They've run an aggressive campaign with her since. Uh, also, like, if you're looking for a horse for price, one of my better, better, uh, uh, mares that I'm looking at in, in this race is Acoma. Uh, she's two for two here at Churchill Downs. She looks really good. She's coming off of a big win, so I like her. Uh, in the mile, it's another high-profile race because we have another record-setting horse in uh, Goldakova. The question is, is there anybody in there that, that can beat her to stop her from, from becoming, uh, well, what would be the, the first horse to win three Breeders' Cup races if she can do it? And I think you're looking at uh, at, at Gio Potti, who is uh, certainly uh, certainly capable uh, of winning at that. Sydney's Candy is another one that not a lot of people maybe are paying attention to. She's got an interesting storyline around her with her ownership. Uh, and then uh, Proviso is another one that I look at that may have a, may have a shot at Goldakova. But uh, I'm going to pick the chalk again with these horses that have records on the line and have proven it so much. Uh, I'm going to go with Goldakova in the mile. In the turf, I like a European import. Uh, kind of lightly raced, only five races, but Workforce is looking to make a little history of his own. He has a trainer in Sir Michael uh, Stout who came here and won with Conduit. And uh, I think Workhorse is the, uh, or Workforce is the horse to watch in the turf. Uh, that's what we've got so far. I'm going to be taking a deeper look at these. You can check them out on my blog. Not that I should, you know, follow any of that with your money or your financial uh, security, but uh, happy to let you know what I think and happy betting.